So naturally you're asking yourself, Jay, didn't you cover this already? Well, yeah, I did. But anybody who's paid attention to this channel for more than 10 minutes knows or had to know that once uh, Atheism is Unstoppable, a.k.a. Brother Devin Tracy, got a hold of this story, I would definitely be coming back with uh, a aping of his video because he tends to, well, A, not tends to, he makes way better content than I do, but he also uh, goes a bit deeper into his analysis and, you know, how he approaches these subjects. And so, as per usual, I'm going to be sticking my nose in this. But before we get into that, a couple of comments on the video that I recently, that the, on the video that I did on this topic, the one that I keep seeing the most is, oh, she's 16, oh, 18, that's a child. Anything under 18 is a child. That is a child. That is a child. That's a child. Okay. And I think I made this very clear in that video, but I'm going to do it again here. A child is to about 12. Okay. You have from six, because I think you cease being a toddler at six uh, to 12 to be a child. Then after childhood, you are a teenager. And during the course of your teenage years, you are supposed to be, be becoming prepared to become an adult. You are supposed to be getting more awareness around you. And someone said, oh, you know, children make mistakes. Deal is, is that becoming a prostitute is not a mistake. It is a career choice that a 16 year old decided to that decided to partake in. So it's completely different. You come from different worlds. If if and to believe that, oh, like innocence is just straight across the board is folly. So let's get into AIU's video. Now, I just don't think the Crystal Kaiser has the face and the charm or the light skin of a Centoya Brown. You know, she's got a bit of a resting mean mug face. So I don't know. Yeah, man. Uh, this is a much rougher picture <laughs> of Crystal Kyber, a uh, Crystal Kaiser that um, then was avail available in the video that I did. And she has that wig off. What I say, what I say in the video, beware the wig. Okay. It is. Like, guys, man, we, like, we are so, like, our eyes do so much of the feeling for us now, don't it? Because it's a whole different chick without that wig on her head, ain't she? <laughs> like, that's a whole different chick without the wig on her head. Oh, and by the way, for Star Wars fans, if you, if you say her name backwards, it's Kaiser Crystal. That's one for the nerds. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to pick up. I don't know if this one's going to take off, but they try and. Oh, they're trying. By the way, this article was written by a man, and I will throw that in quotes, named... G goes by the name... K Karma Allen. Karma Allen. Very funny that Karma should be introduced in a story about a woman who killed a man. And Karma Allen looks like that. So... Yeah. Yeah, multimedia reporter at ABC News, previously CNBC, Daily Targum, Rutgers, you really Rutgers? Uh, yikes. Now, what, they, they always come through Jersey, don't they? Like, this is one of the most effeminate looking dudes ever, man, for real. It's definitely, it, I, like, I want to say probably an 80% chance that this guy, you know, there, that there is a missing, a missing uh, masculine link throughout the course of his upbringing. Oh, I think we should put an APB out on his father. A uh, 19-year-old <laughs> facing life in prison for killing pedophile human trafficker who raped her. Well, that's concise. Now, this is a big part of the reason I'm using this section from his video. Because, like I said in the video that I done, the, the, the way that this story gets framed is going to be insanely important there's going to be people there are forces at play that just want to see chaos unleashed and this is a, a big part of it you know that like the way stories are framed throughout the media is is a huge part of it that is oh god that's the first time i've seen who wrote that mark horowitz <laughs> the more you know Jesus 
Christ, I don't make this stuff up. I didn't pick that because Horowitz wrote it. I just happened to find out that this white man who was the victim of murder, he's now dead. Do you want to look at his autopsy photos? Oh, I have them. You want to see them? I'll show you crime scene photos, autopsy photos, and then we're going to talk about his family and friends who now miss him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't release that. I mean, they could. They don't because he's the big bad wolf. Did you not hear he's human trafficking? Now, I would love to talk to Mark Horowitz or Karma and be like, do you think that Johns are human traffickers? Does anyone think that makes any sense at all? A human trafficker is a pimp. It's someone who controls, forces someone to do something against their will. This guy was not doing that. Arranging a business... Okay, the guy to get his get. <laughs> the other guy, I think that was the last... That was, sorry to cut you off there, Devin. But I think that was the last good Will Ferrell movie was the other guys. Yeah, it was really funny. Transaction that is agreed to by both parties independently and without being coerced is not human trafficking. And pedophile is garbage. Do you realize that the age of consent for sex is 14 in Germany? 14. That's not every... Okay, Devin, let's be... Let's keep it 100% real. This is America, not, uh, <laughs> not Germany. The, like, we, like, all of the, like, particularly when it comes to the underage laws, the young ladies that you are showing right here, they're the reason those laws are, because we got to protect the, we got to protect little Emily, man. Like, that 14-year-old innocent Emily and the like that definitely is not the, the, who definitely came up from a different upbringing than, uh, than Crystal here. Okay, so like in two different environments, two different worlds, the the reason those uh laws are in are in place is because you know they knew for the most part that they were going to install these measures to remove fathers from homes, and once you know the the quote unquote black so the bleeps were done, yeah, they just said screw it, man, white trash, let them let the mud sharks you know run wild, so. <laughs> But ultimately, the, when those laws were thought up, it was Emily who was in mind for that. Pierre, that's every year. So when a 17-year-old strolls in and caps you in the fucking face, do not try to hide behind, well, he was a pedophile, so is anyone going to miss him? Some bullshit. That's what that is. So you can shove it down your fat beak, Horowitz. Here's a tweet from Simar Aluwali. Uh, Ah, oh, fucking hell. Her name is Crystal Kaiser, and she was raped. No, she wasn't. And trafficked. No, she wasn't. By this man for years. Nope. She's now facing life in prison for defending herself against her attacker. <laughs> I mean, good luck, guys. Good luck in that case. This case needs national attention. Free Crystal Kaiser. Oh, not let's get her down to a manslaughter. No, let's, let's do a murder, too. Even though this was absolutely calculated and premeditated. They are... And that's one of the worst aspects of quote unquote bleep American culture is that, oh, it's always free to homie that's like, that's really guilty, man. <laughs> Yo, he like, he did that shit. Why are we sitting here trying to get him out? I'm confused. For the fences. Now free her. She's one of us. Oddly enough, you're not going to see Samar Aluwalia say the same thing about a case where a black man gets killed by a young white woman with the exact same circumstances. You will not see that happen. So all of this sound and fury in these tweets and in these articles is signifying nothing. What is being said is, fuck you white people. Even when one of ours kills one of yours, we don't give a fuck because fuck you. That's the argument being presented. Now they will frame it in other things. Oh, sex trafficking and pedophilia and rape. Honestly, I, I I hear them and all, but the hilarity going on in the background <laughs> because watching Will Will Ferrell transform in the Gator is was one of the funniest parts of that damn movie. All dog shit. These principles, they don't stand on them. The colors have to coordinate the way they like them. I'm trying to impress you. You know that. I know it. Yeah. Now, where'd you get the mushroom shirt? I got to know. Well, the secret is you've got to coordinate. coordinate. Uh -huh. Most people don't coordinate. See, so you got to coordinate. Yes, that's what you did. Yeah. Interesting. Colors. He had the belt. He had the socks. The, in, the, the, the liner in his jacket was all mushroom. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, he was really coordinating. To coordinate the way they like them. 
in order for them to even be present making any case whatsoever. Uncle Devin knows that. I hope you do too. Again. So just so we we lock it in here with what uh Devin Tracy's talking about the the circumstance like it, like it can't just be a human on human interaction right it can't be like like you said if it was a black dude that some white girl um slumped down they wouldn't even be concerned because it doesn't fit into the narrative that they want to portray and they want to push forward and, and that's the thing there's always a narrative even myself even uh Devin we push narratives without question mine is just I I'm personally I'm never trying to tell you how to think I'm just trying to sort shit out myself as opposed to you know like oh trying to uh sit here and say yeah you should do this or you should do that let's continue she killed her rapist. She is a minor. Oh, poor little baby. He was an adult who was under investigation for making child porn. So, she was likely on film being raped by the man she killed. Okay, so this just became a whole lot of fun now, didn't it? Are we supposed to believe that for two years she would just drive over or be Ubered over and get raped and then take money and then go over and get raped? Like, no. Are you telling me it was a mutually beneficial multiple year relationship that ended in a rape? I think there's been a rape up there. Okay, real, pause, real quick pause. I just don't find Ricky Gervais that funny. Like, I mean, I, I, he's made me laugh. Don't get it twisted. I, 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 I actually call, can recall a couple of Ricky Gervais jokes that I like. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just like, I mean, I'm not splitting sides. But then again, I'm also not like English or white, right? I got his attention. Get their attention. <laughs> and then she defended herself from that rape. What evidence do you have of that? It's a classic she said, he said, only he can't say because he's dead. Well, I guess then we default to the she said. The she's have it. Case closed. Crystal Kaiser is a child. Oh, by the way, this is a congresswoman saying this. And that's one of the most, like, embarrassing parts. This is really why, I, regardless of who I speak to, I'm like, get local, talk to, and start to look at things from a local perspective because the people that are out there representing you they have they don't you the, your best interest is the last thing at mind they are somebody else's puppet and unfortunately uh karen bass here really highlighted it crystal kaiser is a child as a child she was raped and as a child she was sold to other men for se sold she was selling she was the one selling she was the one profiting the trauma of yeah, I mean, just a quick recap, just so y'all know, this woman put herself on back page. She had a relationship with the gentleman to whereas, and something I learned in this video is that he bailed her out of jail. You know, he he was like actually there for her. He was helping her out. He was financially kind of taking care of this broad. And she put two in the back of his dome, lit his crib on fire and, and bounced in his G-Rod. Then, um... You know, so so it's like that's disgusting. That really is disgusting. That's a terrible act for anyone. For like really, like regardless of what. But now they're trying to paint the picture as if, oh well, he was just this sex trafficker that was like, whoa, 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 dear champ, take it easy. It's a big part of the reason why I've really wanted to do this video too, and some of the information that was uh, already relayed via um, Mr. Tracy here. Like, yo, like, yeah, he paid, he paid her bail. Like, for real? And, and she did that to him. Nah, this is an evil human being. Make no mistake. Broken people break people. What's happening to children is unimaginable. What she needs is help. Not to be held on a million dollars bail facing a life sentence. <sighs> Unbefucking believable. She wasn't raped. She wasn't sold. And she's not a child. Utterly embarrassing. Who the fuck voted for that woman? If you kidnap a woman, rape her, violate her every kind of way, sex traffic her, and she kills you, there should not be jail time for her. That's all I'm going to say. Hashtag Crystal Kaiser. That's fucking embarrassing. 
apparently she's kidnapped now. Do you really, he bailed her out of jail, and then, oh, here's the other thing I didn't tell you. The reason why she came to his house that day was not just to kill him and take his car, which she announced she was going to do. It was because her black boyfriend was abusing her. So she needed help. What does this guy do? He helped her. He gave her gifts, and he gave her shelter, and he's like, yeah, you can hang out with me. And apparently that is now kidnapping. These are wild, embarrassing lies. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't... Wow, that was really interesting timing, too, with the Kim Kardashian pop-up, huh? Hey, Kim Kardashian, I know you're probably super busy, super busy with what? But we need your help again. Hashtag Crystal Kaiser. Uh-oh, Kim Kardashian, following in the footsteps of her father, who set O.J. Simpson free, a black man who killed white people. And that's the reason why Kim Kardashian is famous. And now she's using that fame to do what? Exactly what her father did. Help black people off. I mean, yeah, sexually. But help black people who have killed white people get out of jail. Are you sickened yet? Because I am. There's no such thing as a child prostitute, full stop. Full stop meaning that's a British person writing that. And that's from Equality Now, a huge Twitter account. Uh and check out that hashtag, Black Survivors Matter. Jesus Christ. Right. Oh my goodness. Hashtag Islam was right about women, right? <laughs> you know, I think we've uh, rocked this one hot long enough and hard enough. Uh fantastic work, Devin. Seriously, man. This is a really, really fantastic video that you put together here and hopefully, you know, the that like but it, I think the first part that I um opened on where he goes like yeah she doesn't have the same demeanor as a um as a Centoya Brown I think that's really what's gonna what's gonna ultimately do her and she's not particularly uh you know uh, very personable or she at least doesn't seem that way especially without that wig on Jesus so <laughs> with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end guys all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you won't get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you can like I'm the biggest fans of your boy over here bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you think in the comments uh like <laughs> Like a child is like childhood ends at twelve at 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 twelve when you turn in and when you turn thirteen and you're a teenager and hey it's yeah it's really time to start buckling down and figure and trying to figure out this whole life and adult thing we let you have the magic during the toddler years and stuff like that and from like you know eight to twelve you're like slowly start, supposed to start transitioning and then it really picks up at 13 because shoot man you ain't got but so many years left until you know out on your own particularly young men you know you're out here flying on your own now when it comes to young ladies shoot as long as they got something between their legs, they will have access to income, all right? <laughs> but that's where, you know, a whole bunch of other things got, got nuts. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next one.